turned out. Yeah, she turned. Hey. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's good, you guys? It's Boomer with Bolly Star, and today we just getting into JJ KSI. Am I a bad boxer? Why did even come to this type of question? Like, <clears throat> what is this, man? But hey, let's get straight on into it, bro. Make sure y'all hit that like button, just below the video, subscribe if you're new, so you can join up with the All Star. Gang up in this thing, and let's get straight on into it, man. Let's go. Hey, okay, okay. I'm in the 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 Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy. Hey, get to the S to the I, and I'm out here with a Reddit video. Yes. You know what's funny? I recorded so many videos a few days ago uh, <laughs> for this channel. None of them are usable because the audio wasn't recording. Woo! Yes! Great success. This is what it is. Technical difficulties happen. And uh, yeah, you've just missed out on content I recorded and no one will ever see except Mo. <laughs> except Mo. Anyway, today we're doing a Reddit. Uh, obviously, your boy's got a fight against Dylan Dennis. Dildo Dennis. <laughs> January 14th at Wembley Arena. It's all going down. And best believe that card's going to be stacked. I know what the card is already. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people excited. I'm just saying, maybe. Woo! But yeah, you already know how Misfits get down. Misfits 1, Misfits 2, Misfits 3. We're coming through with bangers. So best believe Misfits 4 is going to be bangers. even better, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, let's see what the Reddit is saying. <laughs> nah, this is a violation. Oh, yes, me and me and Dildo Dennis were going back and forth. Uh, <laughs> talking about each other's mums. We're going back and forth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> talking about each other's mums. So, yeah, I put an Instagram story saying, uh, really hope your mum is at the fight at Dildo Dennis with love eyes. Obviously, I put a picture of Dildo Dennis's mom because she looks like a lovely person. And I think it would be great to have her front <laughs> row seeing her son getting beat the fuck up. <laughs> and it's also great for me to look at as well. And then uh, he replied with, uh, I really hope your mom isn't at the fight with an old picture of her. I mean, look, my mom's glowed up tremendously. She's lost a bit of weight and uh, she looks phenomenal. So, yes, she's going to be at the fight, Dildo Dennis. And best believe... She's going to see me absolutely knock you out and clean. And it's going to be great. <laughs> I am the Nightman! K-S-I! <laughs> it's so funny, I've seen so many memes of that. I don't even think it was that cringe, but... <laughs> Either way, uh, yeah. You can call me cringe if you like, but I, I fucking beat people, don't I? <laughs> No one really wants to call me out because they know I fucked them up. <laughs> the last person you want to fight is someone who's big, strong, oh, you're has power in the hand, and also just has incredible cardio. Relentless beatings, round after round. Like, and you're just there like, when's this brother going to just relax or slow down? And then, if anything, he gets faster <laughs> as the rounds go on. Like with Misfits 1, when I had to fight two people in one night. Did I look tired at any point? <laughs> Did I look tired at any point? I was chasing down my opponent, and I wasn't tired, but I wasn't thinking, oh, look man, like oh, I need to slow down a little bit, man. My lungs are starting to like really feel baby. it. No, huh? I was just, <laughs> I need to knock out, I need to knock out. I have three rounds, I need to knock out, I need to knock out. <laughs> like, if I had six rounds, then I would have, you know, maybe paced myself, maybe enjoyed my time a little bit. Like, woo, woo, woo. Da, da, little one, two here and there, showed a little bit of skill, da, 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 da. I had three rounds, I was like, all right, now nah, I got to put these motherfuckers away real quick. <laughs> what would they be called? Oh, that's a fucking hard picture, you know. Ooh, that's a hard picture, you know. Oh, shit. Oi, I want to hear the album. <laughs> what was a band called? Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. Uh, Silk Sonic. Wait, wait, so we've got two black people, an Indian and a white guy. Milk Tonic? <laughs> I'm sure the ready is going to come up with better names. Django Rechained. <laughs> Not where I was going, but okay. All right. Uh, Neaky Blinders. Okay. All right. This is actually hard as fuck. Thank you. What well, no. <laughs> Peaky Wankers. The Intercontinental Trader Circuit. <laughs> no, bro. Right. 
That's getting done. You know what? Spam. I'm rocking that. Spam. Let's talk about this. <laughs> yes, talk about this Instagram thing that banged. <laughs> Can I say, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that didn't see, let's go onto my Instagram real quick. This photo banged 1.2 million likes, bro. 1.2 million likes. Now, compare it to the photo I did a few days before, 198,000 likes. Clearly, Instagram loved that picture. <laughs> Instagram fucking jizzed all over it. I'm ready for what you lot are about to say. Obviously, the Reddit's going to hate on it. I already know. But I'm intrigued. <laughs> Man looks like he owns four plantations. Okay. Brings... A whole new meaning to the night. <laughs> a black plantation K -K -K owner. K -K -K wow. Wow. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, not going to lie. He's looking hella good. Oh. He's like the servant off of oh. Django. Oh. Why, thank you. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be, you know. I'll take, look, I'll take it. I was getting ready to get flamed, but I guess it's hard to flame a guy in a, in a suit. That's probably why Conor McGregor always just wears a suit everywhere he goes. I asked AI to draw KSI as Goku. Oh, oh, damn, shit, boy. Don't mind if I do. Am I going to give you an award? Yeah, fuck it, I'm going to give you an award. Obviously, the AI did it, but I'm going to still give him something. Woo! What flavor could they be? Love my ass up deal. You're not winning, though. Oh, yeah, Logan put, hey, KSI, if USA wins today, we get an exclusive flavor of Prime. If UK wins, y'all get an exclusive flavor of Prime. Deal? And then obviously USA versus England. Hella boring. A draw. Nil-nil. Nothing fucking happened, basically. So we decided to just have an exclusive flavor for each the UK and the US. But what flavor could it be? Ooh. I wonder. I drew KSI to my masterpiece. Really, uh, really put time and effort into my lips, didn't you? My lips. Big old juicy lips. And the forehead, obviously, of course. Even then, it's out like one of those funny experience. caricatures, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I just saw this recently up on Instagram. Like, people will go to like carnivals and stuff, and there'll be people like drawing, you know what I'm saying? The big funny heads and stuff. So it's like a couple did it, <laughs> and there's this one artist in one of these carnivals somewhere in like New York or somewhere, somewhere. Like, you know, like he would like draw the people, but like, he would draw like he would highlight their worst features on their face or whatever or their or, or their personality and they're like you know she'll highlight those features in the drawing <laughs> and make them almost like KSI's here you know what I'm saying how KSI is like his worst features foreheads <laughs> elongated on that and of course he's black <laughs> on his nips on his lips nips is crazy <laughs> on his lips uh but now, like, this other artist would, like, you know, highlight people's worst features. Like, this girl would have, like, super, like, squinty eyes. And, you know, you know she would look plastic. And the guy would have, like, long buck teeth and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm saying, like, he must be one of those, like, you know, one of those type of artists that highlight people's You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they draw people but highlight their worst features. Of course. It's all for shits and giggles. It's Even funny. Miss out of the experience. And only if you really have a, a a a really top sense of humor, peak sense of humor. Fucking hell, fair play, guys. <laughs> fair fucking play. You don't miss anything. Obviously, Ethan wanted to go, uh, so we thought we'd edit him out of the video, so it looked like he wasn't there. As you can see, uh, that is it. indeed. Ethan. So proud of Logan and JJ getting their own action figures. <laughs> you don't think you're funny today. You don't think you're funny today. Oh my god, my mind went back to that show picture. <laughs> okay, it's how I do that show. Because Tanner was blurry. <laughs> Logan and JJ getting their own action figures. You don't think you're funny today. You don't think you're funny today. You don't think you're funny today. Oh, I actually that's tough, man. You don't think that's you're funny dope. today. You don't think you're funny today. Okay, <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm recovering from back surgery and Pew's videos and KSI's videos have really helped me. Just want to say this. Aw, my G. Aw, oh, bro. Thanks. Well, I hope you have a good, successful recovery. And your back is back to, back to normal. If not better than it was before. What's his catchphrase? Let's also get someone up there. David, 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 David Banner. Let's go rehab. 
<laughs> Let's go, rehab. Are you dumb, chop? Let's go. Let's go. Not, not even. I wonder what JJ thinks about this okay. video. Why KSI is bad at boxing? Uh, Alright then, let's see this. I love how the video underneath it is. Here's why KSI is now the greatest boxer ever. Has like no views. But any video with people saying that my boxing is shit. Views. Nine minutes. Alright, this might be a short edit video. This might have to take it off. Alright, here's what it is. Let's go. Despite the status of the founder of YouTube Boxing. A record without losses and an impressive two knockouts in one night. KSI is a bad, bad best, mediocre boxer. Oh, wow. Why? You need to understand that boxing consists of three equally important aspects. Okay. Athleticism, okay. character, okay. and technique. Okay. Let's start with the last one. Technique. I love how it picked the last one because that is... People arguably say I'm the worst at. But then my character is great, and then my athleticism is great. But no, I get it. I get it. No, it's what it is. Let's go. <laughs> You'll be surprised now, but JJ's arsenal consists of one punch. Yes, one. you heard right. To one. be more precise, one punch and. Let me guess. The overhand. I've done so many. One punch, JJ. Look at the Joel. One punch, man. The Logan fight, yes. I threw overhands all the time. Mm. I jabbed. And then with Pineda and Swarms, you know, I did a right to the body. I, you know, I did a few uppercuts, you know, a few right hands, jabbed. Come on, man. What do you mean one punch? One punch and two feints. That's it. Now, let's take That's a closer it. look. The main weapon of KSI is the right overhand. I do go well. It's a fast, powerful, and whipping punch. JJ has learned to throw this punch perfectly. The overhand equally powerful moving forward, backward, or standing Listen, still. <laughs> it is so, you can see that it's coming from a mile away. That's why everyone's like, ah! <laughs> Being a fighter of one punch is difficult. And it's even more difficult when this blow is overhand. This attack cannot just be thrown openly. It must be masked. For that, KSI has two feints. One is a turn of the shoulder to the inside, so he convinces the opponent that he'll throw a jab or left hook. Because of this, the enemy turns his head in the opposite direction, or shifts directly towards the overhand. Therefore, JJ's rivals <laughs> often look at him with a surprised face when they get hit with the overhand. This blow is often a painful surprise for them. But when the opponent gets used to such a sweeping feint, KSI has a more modest option. Ooh. Two is the front arm twitching. With this movement, he measures the distance and throws the feint as he's getting ready to throw the jab. Okay, okay. The more he does this, the opponent feels more tense. Sometimes twitching his hand just stops the opponent. Then JJ throws the overhand. Okay. However, the second feint has a serious problem. KSI uses it so often that it's become a bad habit. Become uh, out of ten predictable. Cases of throwing out an overhand, he jerks That's like where he targets them, though, yeah. That. And these are cases like where a the feints are right not there. needed. He is just used to pulling the lead hand and then throwing the overhand. Such a mistaken technique can be found even among professionals. For example, UFC fighter Nazrat Hakparast has the same problem. He constantly lowers one hand before hitting with the other. When I said um, I'm telegraph, I think with the overhand, yes, I can be quite telegraph. I, I don't understand why everyone's expecting a masterpiece from me. Maybe because I always I go on KSI. I, don't miss that with that. <laughs> I can be telegraph, but if you know it's coming, doesn't mean you can stop it. For a long time, no one even noticed this mistake. But when the time came for top-level opponents, his jaw had to pay for that mistake. So, if you have a skirmish with KSI, know that if he pulls his front arm, then he's going to throw overhand. If I'm gonna do that, you're instantly thinking, okay, he's throwing an overhand. Then, if I just do that, then I, then I fucked you. <laughs> like, oh, okay, well, you were expecting overhand, so you come through like that, and I just uppercut you. I can use this to my favor. <laughs> Use this to my advantage. JJ has another unique feature. He 
often throws two or even three blows with one hand. This is really okay. unique because no one throws three overhands in a row. It's very dangerous. There's a reason why all the pros only double the jab. Uh, no, 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 and no, the no, rest no. Please don't face my boxing skill <laughs> on Swarms. Bro, come on. Swarms was nothing. Like, even with Panetta, like, didn't you see my form with Panetta? I was nice and tight. And then once I realized, oh, he's not a threat, I just walked him down. Like, <laughs> Oh my god, people are like, oh, you got hit by swarms! I mean, so bad! <laughs> Double the jab, and the rest of the punches are thrown in order. Right, left, right, left, or vice versa. Because that's a textbook way to throw combinations. Overhand spam from KSI feels like something fresh, and catches the opponent off guard. Simply, no one expects such a brazen and irresponsible infliction of the same blow. There's only one example of a fighter at a relatively high level who uses one punch. I didn't even notice that I used my, my, the same hand for like, different shots. I don't even do that in sparring. Simply, no one expects such a brazen and irresponsible infliction of the same blow. Yeah, look, There's right? only one example of a fighter at a relatively right. high level who uses one punch span. Damn, this I, is the form oh, of UFC oh, you know, Why don't I do that in sparring? Yeah, what the hell? That's, yeah, no one expects that. No one, everyone always goes, up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. So if I'm there like, up, uh, up, uh, and come through with a cock, man, that's nice. What adds fuel to the fire is JJ's stance. Maybe it was because of ring rust, but his jaw was hovering in the sky, and his hands were on waist just to attack. The swarms wasn't a threat, bro. Like, what the hell? Do you want me to just do like this? What's the point of me doing this? To swarms who's running around. Every time he entered close range, he put himself at great risk. A fighter who's able nah, to hit so while moving back. My skill here was... <laughs> I shouldn't have beaten Logan. Everything was against me. <laughs> Logan had the technique. He had the skill. You know, he had good stamina. He had everything. He was in his, in his country. Everything was there for him to beat me. And I went against the odds and... My boxing skill wasn't good. I know that, especially in this fight. Backwards would at least knock him down. Such a stance can be forgiven when the fighter has a good footwork and knows how to be ring general. However, KSI, who takes pride in the fact that he's ready for a dogfight and likes to pressure, does not do it skillfully. He pursues the opponent, runs after him. That is, he's the wingman despite the fact that he's pressing. This running around the ring makes you predictable and gives your opponent the opportunity to manipulate you. Well, okay, no, I've actually improved on this. So, yes, a lot of people were like, oh, you just chase your opponent around the ring. Well, I've gone, okay, calm. And then I've used that. And now I just track him more, you know, I'm able to track better. If I'm able to push people back all the time, isn't that a dub anyway? <laughs> if no one can push me back, if I'm able to always fight on the front foot, isn't that a fucking W anyway? <laughs> you should not chase the victim, but cut the ring. That is, cut the cut trajectory the of the opponent's movement. Yeah, yeah. If the opponent likes no, no, to move I, to I the have, left. I have improved on this. I have improved on this. This was definitely something I took from the fire. Run. Okay, I need to be better at this. JJ is in great shape. Visually, he mm -hmm. looks intimidating. And cardio has never been a problem for never. him. However... In order to clearly understand the situation, we need to divide all YouTube boxers into three levels. Okay. Level one, all YouTubers who took part in the very first events. Okay. Basically, these are guys far from sports who dared to try themselves in boxing. Okay. KSI, Gibb, and others. Level two, these are influencers with a sports background. They took note of the experience of the previous generation and added their athleticism to this. Okay. The Paul brothers, Faze Sensei, Josh McBroom, Bro. and others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level 3. This is the newest type of YouTube boxer. Many of them have serious experience in martial arts. Oh, okay. Anthony Taylor, Tommy Fury, Faze Jarvis, Salt Poppy, and others. 
As you can see, KSI is a real dinosaur in the world of YouTube boxing. He needs to constantly evolve to match the level of opposition. From a skinny, fat gamer, he turned into a guy with a good physique. But muscle doesn't mean athleticism. JJ objectively doesn't have athletic talents. His coordination, explosive speed, and plasticity are worse than Logan Paul, or even if you compare him with his brother. In terms of athleticism, he's inferior to him. Okay. Yes, yeah, no, Deji comes out to every fight with a belly. No, no, I do agree with that. I do. You know what? That's the point. I do agree with I wasn't naturally born with great, <laughs> great genes. <laughs> I've had to work to get to this point. That's what I always say to anyone. You don't have to be born with it. You can just right, he's like our Naruto, man. Yes, I do. Let us have a Naruto. The smoothness of his movements yeah, and the yeah. speed of his attacks are on a different level. Well, how many times have I said if Digi had my work rate and discipline? Fucking hell, bro. That's why I split into two, like Naruto and Sasuke, you feel me? <laughs> two halves of the set of, of one whole. Be unreal. <laughs> like, you can top level, no one would be able to touch him. <laughs> The character of KSI and the desire to work hard close these shortcomings. Thanks to which he managed to defeat Logan Paul, who surpasses KSI in everything. But this is the beauty of boxing. This sport consists not only of technique and athleticism, it also needs to take into account the character. This is the main weapon of JJ. He's like the Diaz brothers or Evander Holyfield. Always in the game and can shock the world against <laughs> any opponent. Nah, you know what? That was a good video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only liked it because he's tired. Through the ad. The answer stacked against me tremendously all the time, but I still find a way to win. I love how now people are like, yeah, KSI's going to be destroyed to the death. I was like, bro, this has never happened before. <laughs> I've never been in a situation where people now think, yeah, he's actually going to do well. Oh, yeah, he's going to win. Yeah, he's, he's going to win. But I feel like now I've proven so many people wrong to the point where now people believe me. <laughs> people believe in me and go, yeah, you know what? KSI is that guy. <laughs> so, yeah, am I a bad boxer? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I am. You know what? Maybe I'm a bad boxer. But will I win? Fuck yeah. <laughs> you guys so that was KSI am I a bad boxer man um not a video you know what I'm saying I mean I don't see half the stuff he said I didn't even get in mind it's like oh he wasn't born with the best genetics I mean I guess you know what I'm saying but hey that's what y'all think that's what y'all think man like honestly it is what it is you know like I said bro <laughs> Like I said, bro, uh, you know, KSI, I mean, personally, in my thoughts, it's like our Naruto, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's like, yo, came from, like, looking down on the swing to now looking down off the Hokage faces, you know what I'm saying, at his new village as, as, as a Hokage, you feel me? Like, yo, and that was all based off hard work, dedication, you feel me? If that's not the most motivating thing ever, man. Like, and I mean ever. You feel me? Naruto is literally the most motivating thing ever. I know there are a couple others, but, yeah. Naruto is, like, definitely the first on my mind whenever I think of, like, motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like, always sticking to it. You know what I'm saying? And always just, like, increasingly getting more epic along the way with it. You feel me? Uh... But yeah, y'all let me know your thoughts about down in the comment section down below, man. Y'all know it's booming with Bali Star, man. Make sure to leave a like just below the video. Subscribe if you're new so you can join up with the all-star gang up in this thing. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. One hundred. Oh! She turned up. She turned out. Yeah, she turned. Hey. They don't want to see me. Every time I
time I drop, they like, there he goes again. goes again. I can't let them get the best of me, get the best of me. They gon' only get the best of me, get the best of me. It ain't easy cause. She said, why you leave me on? I know you don't deserve me. We got icy cold, we were want to Albuquerque. Oh. Did me wrong, you don't deserve me. Oh. She said that you don't deserve me. Yeah, it goes down in the